In recent years, the United States government started releasing information on unidentified aerial phenomena, also referred to as UFOs, performing aerial maneuvers that far exceed the current capabilities of human technology. For those of us living in the Pocono Mountains, unexplained aerial phenomena is just part of life in the Poconos. And throughout history, stories have been passed down through generations of strange lights in the sky, flying objects, and contact with other beings. For centuries, extraterrestrials have visited the Pocono Mountains of northeastern Pennsylvania, not just for its world-class outdoor adventure, but for its abundance of natural resources and water. In fact, the first civilizations may have come from somewhere other than Earth. The Lenape people, who lived along the Upper Delaware River since the beginning of history, believe that man inhabited the heavens and the Indians descended from the stars to live here on Earth. The name Lene Lenape literally means the original people. Lenape legend is based on thunder beings who lived in the sky and came to Earth on the wings of birds with great thunderous noise and fire. One Lenape story is about a man who visited the thunder beings on a high column of steam, returning several days later, bringing knowledge from the thunder being. Other legends involve magical little people of the forest and giant beings that were generally benevolent but could be dangerous if not respected. In addition to these beings, Often described in similar ways as alien visitors today, the Lenape had contact with powerful sacred medicine spirits who gave them medical knowledge in their dreams. It wasn't long before people from beyond the seas began to arrive on the shores of this country. Early sailors reported strange lights and objects in the sky that they could not explain, and early Pocono explorers wrote about wilderness encounters with unusual beings in their journals. And as Europeans began to settle in the new land, stories of strange objects hovering in the sky above villages and towns, floating balls of fire, and visits from angels were commonplace. In time, the American colonies grew and sought to establish their independence from Great Britain. Throughout the Revolutionary War, there were reports of objects in the sky hovering over battlefields. And during the Battle of Minisink on the Delaware River, a story of a large silver sphere hovering above the river near the battlefield was passed down through generations of local families. Following the war, the Delaware River was used to transport coal, stone, and lumber downriver. The best known UFO story was about a local lumberjack surveying the Pocono Forest for valuable timber when he came across a strange craft pulsating with glowing light in a forest clearing. As he approached the object, a bright flash of light blinded him. He was found by hunters six days later, wandering through the woods, but could remember nothing from the last week, where he had been or how he had survived. It wasn't long before the young nation found itself once again at war. The Civil War broke out and a number of sightings in eastern Pennsylvania increased with reports of objects hovering over battlefields and following troop movements. Following the Civil War, the Poconos grew into a summer vacation capital of the Northeast with people fleeing the hot urban centers for the cool summer mountain breezes of the Pocono Mountains. Several boarding houses in the late 1800s to the early 1900s were known for being the best locations to observe the magical and strange objects dancing in the mountain skies. Occasional newspaper reports in the early 20th century referred to objects in the sky, unusual beings in the woods, and unexplained livestock deaths in the region. These were often dismissed as local folklore. The number of unexplained flying objects increased during World War I and World War II. The appearance of Foo Fighters, unexplained orbs of light following military craft and appearing over battlefields was the most reported and viewed UFO activity at the time. Similar objects were often seen over industrial centers such as textile and glass factories in northeastern PA. 
In the decades following World War II, the Pocono Mountains was a growing honeymoon capital of the world, and communication channels evolved and increased the ability of people to report unusual sightings. But new technologies also increased the number of hoaxes that were perpetrated on unexpecting people. Hoaxes, along with the government's denial that UFOs exist, created a social environment where people were hesitant to report or discuss aerial phenomena for fear of being considered crazy or easily fooled. Since the 1950s, after the term UFO became popular, weather balloons, commercial air traffic, missile and rocket launches, satellites, space stations and experimental aircraft resulted in a number of explained sightings. However, the number of unexplained objects in the sky increased as well. A few of the sightings that made the news in the Poconos included the fall 1956 account of Mrs. D residing in Milford in Pike County. At 9 p.m., she took a flashlight to see if there were deer in her yard and discovered two spacemen standing 150 feet from her next to her garden. She described them as being three to three and a half feet tall, dressed in tight silver suits with helmets and were of muscular build. Long cigar-shaped objects were reported flying over the Toby Hanna Army Depot during the day on October 29th in 1956. The object was large, wingless, moving at high rates of speed, approximately three to 5,000 feet in the air, stopping in midair to hover over the Army Depot. In May of 1957, Mrs. Frances Stichler went out to feed her chickens in Dingman's Ferry just before dawn and saw a silver saucer-shaped object 15 feet above her barn making a soft whirling sound. She observed the object for over a minute before it disappeared over a nearby hill. A flying saucer was seen flying through the Delaware Water Gap heading north along the Delaware River in September of 1957. Forty circular objects were observed flying around Sailors Lake near Stroudsburg at 500 to 2,000 feet in the air. They were seen by 11 residents and a state trooper on March 1st in 1973. The same UFOs returned to Sailors Lake on March 21st and were later seen by people as they traveled through Northampton County and western New Jersey. A Pocono man reported seeing a green fireball moving across the sky. The sighting was confirmed by airline pilots, and there was no evidence of it being a meteor or space debris. The last sighting of the object was in Maine. Many of the objects in the Pocono Mountains are described as orange, green, or red orbs, triangular, circular, spherical, or boomerang shaped craft. Each year, the National Unidentified Flying Object Reporting Center logs hundreds of calls from the Poconos. Hotspots appear to be around Milford, Stroudsburg, Dingman's Ferry, Bushkill, Mount Pocono, and Lord's Valley. The team here at Wally Life regularly observe unidentified objects in the skies over the Pocono Mountains. But don't just take our word for it. Visit these sites for more information on reported sightings in the Pocono Mountains, both identified and unidentified, and see for yourself. The truth is out there.